product manager for BlackRockDid.com. With me is Matt Brown from JDSU. He's going to go through some of their USB gear. Hi, I'm Matt Brown with JDSU. Uh, we are a manufacturer of test and measurement equipment, and I'm a product manager in our optical test equipment group. Today I want to talk to you about our P5000 digital fiber inspection platform and a new product, the MP60, it's a USB stick optical power meter. Together, these two tools will turn your laptop into a basic fiber test platform. Let's look at how the P5000 and the MP60 optical power meter work together on your laptop. They're both USB devices, so they both connect through uh, USB ports on the laptop. Here we see the P5000 connected directly. Uh, over here I have this little USB stick power meter connected through a USB extension cable. The signals from both of these devices uh, are read out to you on an application called FiberCheck 2. FiberCheck 2 both displays the image from the video inspection probe and displays the power reading from the optical power meter. When using the P5000 to inspect the end face of an optical fiber, we simply get the fiber in focus, then press a button on the side of the test probe. The FiberCheck 2 will take a number of snapshots of this fiber image and analyze them and provide us with a pass or a fail. Once we have a result uh, uh, of inspecting the fiber, uh, we can record that result, result by hitting the report button and FiberCheck 2 will generate uh, a document that uh, records the condition of this uh, optical fiber. When using the MP60 optical power meter, we simply uh, connect the test lead to the optical power meter and then connect that test lead to uh, the optical port you're going to inspect. You would first use the P5000 to church clean, which I did a moment ago. Once the USB power meter is plugged into the port you're checking light on, you'll report, uh, it'll report out a light level. It's got minus 63 dB right now because uh, this is a dead fiber. Because this measurement's being taken on a laptop, we also have a logging, a data logging function for your power measurement uh, with a comments field. So we'd simply type in some series of comments in the comments field, hit the log button, and that data has been saved. Uh, another way to save data is to simply press the button on the MP60 together. The P5000 video inspection probe and the MP60 optical power meter give you the ability to view the condition of the optical end phase and record that result, and the ability to measure insertion loss or power levels in the optical channel and measure that result, allowing you to document both the quality of the optical end phase and the performance of the optical link. This has been Matt Brown with JDSU. It's been a pleasure being here at FiberOptic.com. Thank you for your time.